South Carolina. In recent years, it's been a hotbed of UFO activity. So Carolinian Jody Pendarvis has built a UFO welcome center in front of his trailer. This is a UFO welcome center where aliens can come down and talk with me. Are all UFOs welcome? Yes, right now, any UFO is welcome, uh, no matter what kind it is. Uh, but please, be from outer space. Don't be from another country or so. At 42 feet wide and nearly 30 feet high, this UFO decoy slash hospitality suite boasts of every amenity and the latest in UFO Welcome Center technology. So this is your communication system right here? Right. You use Morse code to contact the aliens? I flash the lights in dashes and dots. And what message do you send? I mainly send UFO, hello, and my phone number. Do you include the area code with your phone number? Oh, yes, yes. When the aliens arrive, they'll be sure to appreciate the Welcome Center's little touches. So they would come through the skylight on a tractor beam and land on the love seat. That's true. So they have a soft landing. This is where the aliens could stay. I have a stereo system on the floor over here. So there's entertainment provided. As a scientist, Jody is eager to learn the secrets of intergalactic travel. But every secret has its price. What if the alien said, you can come aboard our ship and look around all you want, but we get to anally probe you? I would have to tell them no. What if they promised to be very gentle? Um, still be kind of frightening. If you don't want to be anally probed, aren't you running a big risk by having a UFO welcome center? I'm taking a risk. But I think it's a risk that the whole world could probably say, Jody, you did a great job. Now that Jody's built it, they will come. But will they bring peace or a probe? Peace or a probe indeed. <laughs> Joining me now to discuss aliens in the next millennium is our distinguished panel of experts. On the left is Earth's UFO ambassador, Jody Pendarvis. Nice to be here, John. Next, we have alien abductee and frequent sperm donor, Dr. Terry Johnson. Hello, Mr. Stewart. And finally, we'll hear from Fran Baskerville, the singing psychic. Hi, John. Thank you all for joining us. Mr. Ambassador, let me start with you. Have you met the aliens? And if so, can you tell us what they're like? Well, John, being the ambassador to the space aliens, I can't really tell you whether I've seen them yet or not. However, they've been on a long trip. Just remember, it took light, light years to get here. The clothes are probably rotted out, and they're probably weary. So you're saying they haven't arrived as of yet. Dr. Johnson, I, I see you shaking your head. What do you make of the ambassador's assessment? John, with all due respect to Mr. Pendarvis, there's been a ton of contact between humans and aliens already. Many people on this planet, including myself, have, have been forced into an alien-human interbreeding program. So I, I see we're already mating with them. And is that breeding in the traditional sense? Not exactly, John. The aliens insist that we only do anal sex. They feel it's the best way to reproduce on a mass scale. All right, then. Uh, let's now go to Ms. Baskerville. Your thoughts on Dr. Johnson's reproduction theory. Well, Dr. Terry Johnson, I think you might have to join your patients. Oh, yeah. Because I don't see any astral sex or any sex or any kind of bottom thing going on. John, can I, I say something here, please? Uh, yes, go ahead, Mr. Ambassador. I have a hole in this theory. I think there's too much emphasis on anal parts. I really seriously doubt if the aliens came all this distance just to put things in our behinds. Well, now, Dr. Johnson, the ambassador brings up a very good point. After such a long trip, wouldn't aliens have other concerns? No, that's a bunch of nonsense. I personally impregnated hundreds of aliens that started out as unfertilized eggs in the walls of the rectum. It's simple as that. Ms. Baskerville, perhaps you could shed some light on this. Well, Dr. Terry Johnson, I think you're all hung up on that 
little thing on that ass bus. John, this is yeah, just plain old crazy. Thing, I think. Here we are trying to have You're a serious conversation about UFOs and aliens. There's a lot and we listen to ass children songs. This is nuts. Excuse me, I, I can't have people talking at the same time. Dr. Johnson, could, could you please take your seat? Th thank you, sir. I, I believe Ms. Baskerville had the floor. Dr. Johnson, there won't be any more astral-ass children. There won't be any more black children, yeah. Thank you very much, Ms. Baskerville. Now, I'm terribly sorry. We're out of time. Uh, final thoughts, Mr. Ambassador. I do believe the aliens could come this year. However, I really don't think they're going to come and see our asses, okay? <laughs> Dr. Johnson. You have to understand, I don't choose to have this anal sex. The aliens force me to. Now, Ms. Baskerville, again, I apologize for the brevity of this conversation. You will have the final word. Aliens will be a lot smarter than us. You can bet on it.